everyone in my family um, is a bit of a holiday nut. We start very early in the season. I have to say, Rob and George and my parents start far earlier than we do. Um, we are shooting these videos um, just before Thanksgiving and they are already set up and ready to go. So I'm ever inspired by their ability to pull it all together. So I just wanted to show you guys just, you know, one really beautiful way to be inspired by the holidays. This is a main focus of our whole house is this fireplace. It's just a magnificent, beautiful stone fireplace. We love it. We live in this area. We just enjoy it so much. And I love this big piece of art. This is actually one of Tracy's um, that we put up here. And some old candle holders, um, an urn, a clock that my parents gave us, tucked in some greens. It's a nice mix of antiques and greens and things that I just had around. And I just like, during the holidays, I kind of move everything around in the house um, because this is not how it typically looks. So for the holidays, you just kind of change it up. Um, I mean, you keep it this way you're on if you could, though, right? Oh, I love it, too. That's how much we love Christmas. We, we actually did this house two weeks ago for Christmas. So not, not to really frighten you to death or make any of us feel inadequate. Not to <laughs> at all. Not to make anyone feel that way. I just want to point out that she already has presents wrapped. And I literally said to her before, are those real presents? Are there really presents uh -huh. in there? Or are those fake presents? Those are real. She has done Christmas shopping. I am. I really am. I'm so excited about that. <laughs> I think some of my favorite things about this vignette are, again, that Robin brought in, um, you know, this beautiful urn up here. I think that's mm -hmm. so pretty. And again, I love that she's put some books on top of it. And then that pretty stag. I don't even know if that's, is that actually part of your Christmas decoration? Is that a year-round stag? A year-round stag. Yeah, it's so pretty, but I think with the greenery and everything, it looks even a little more Christmassy in this little handmade house. And you know, also I want to point out that, um, you know, everyone always asks the questions, do I have, to, you know, should I use real greens? Do I have to use real greens? And I know people get very concerned about that sort of thing near their fireplaces. And, um, you know, these are artificial greens in this spectacular home. And I think they yeah. are amazing. And there's no reason not to use them. And Robin has tucked into them pretty little, you know, pine cones and ribbon and things like that. But this is beautiful. And if you wanted to layer in real green, you could. But, of course, the problem is everything dries up so quickly. I love that she has a little boxwood up here. You know, the camel holders and, again, the little, you know, antique silver. It's just so charming. The other thing I love about this whole um, fireplace is I love that she has this great big spot to sit. It's so amazing. You know, it's just such a, a comfortable little spot. So this is just a little inspiration to get you going for the holidays.